finally managed to get you a new one. Yeah! Ah, but before I give it to you, you have to promise to take better care of him. Okay. Better than the ones that you destroyed before. I promise. <laughs> a moon bear for my moon bear. I'm almost ready, Kathy. Give me five minutes to get to my wetsuit. Don't overdo it, honey. School and work never stop. Just pace yourself. But I know, I know. I just lost track of time, plus the subject matter. Fascinating. <laughs> Father like daughter, I guess. <clears throat> Promise? Yes. Authorization 170544, Isaac Johansson. Kathy Johansson. Whatever happens, you must keep Ava close to you at all times. Never let her out of your sight, alright? I've got you, I've got you, I've got you. Listen, Amanda, we must be very quiet, okay? No. Nice. Listen to me, you have to go. You have to go. Thank <laughs> you. 
What do you think, Ayla? Reckon we'll get a few more months out of this relic? <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> If your butt is starting to hurt from the car seat, you're welcome to come up here and help me. Hmm? No, I'm good. Besides, that wouldn't be much help anyway. <laughs> well, worth a try. Oh, hi, Mark. Looking good, sis. <laughs> they really need to change these. I look nothing like that anymore. Are you joking? You look so good still. Thanks, I try. You? Trying anything? Yeah, right. I just, I meant that like Thanks. you... Never have to come on, Alex. Try. <sighs> Want the years with the Force Cry asleep or without? Sorry, I didn't mean to. I really just need to get to the meeting. I just wanted to apologize for what happened with my dad. I, I know he didn't mean what he did. I think that's why he tried to save you on the moon. Save me? Your dad did not. Kathy, I don't want to be disrespectful, but what your dad and the Lunar Council did, they they left us here to rot. They committed the worst crimes imaginable against humankind and our planet. They deserve to be punished for what they've done. Am I interrupting something? No. No. Thanks to an entire backlog of precedents, I know not to be surprised to see you here. I made it this far, you might as well just let no. me. No. Maria's gonna be on video, you no. know. Okay, I thought you guys rehearsed that. We totally did. I like being a rebel. Let's go. Six years. What? On the moon. It was six years. I'm sorry I didn't answer your question earlier. Right. Thanks. Perfect. Ayla, stay right there. What you're about to hear cannot leave this room. Understood? Hey, what? What are you? Moon back. Moon back. Moon back. For any of you, the atmosphere continues to deteriorate at an alarming rate. The lunar MVT may be alleviating the planet's energy needs to a degree, but energy is the least of our concerns right now. Rising CO2 levels are killing off a myriad of species of flora and fauna every week. The truth of the matter is that our home is becoming just as uninhabitable as any other planet. We need those arcs. Now. Claire? I need you to lead this mission. Assemble a team and bring those arcs back. You have a few months to prep. We cannot afford further delay. 
I understand. I'd like to start by including Ryan and Sarah as part of the team. Not only do they excel in their respective fields, they're vital to me personally. I trust them both in my life. That leaves one more position to be filled. Yes. Hey. Hi. At the risk of sounding like an idiot, I think we should take Kathy. What? 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 She was leagues above the other graduates in our program. You mean the only class of astronauts that we've had in the past ten years? It doesn't change the fact that she aced nearly every exercise, sometimes even doubling my scores. I know you want to keep her out of this, but she's the best MPT engineer we've got. We need her expertise. And look, I will deny ever saying this under oath, I might add. Kathy is the most talented individual the WSA is working for them. Apart from you two. And me, of course. Uh, we're not seriously discussing this, are we? I mean, she... She has no prior experience. She's a complete risk to the mission. Sarah's right. Kathy shouldn't be part of the team. There are too many factors How involved. Do you do this? Hey, Maria. Can I come in, please? Seriously? Please, Claire, let me be a part of the mission. Were you eavesdropping? Yeah, and I'm sorry for that, but Claire, you know I've proven myself to the WSA. Two concurrent science degrees, majored in stream tech, top marks in the astronaut training program, like Ryan said. Thanks for the kind words, by the way, mate. Sure. And you need my MPT expertise. Please. Claire, with you by my side, I know I can do this. We can do this. Plus, there's only like, what, three other trained astronauts to choose from? So... I think you should take her on the team, Claire. What? 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 Nice. She's one of the most qualified people we have at the WSA. However... The final say is yours, of course. Okay, Kathy. Even though look, Ryan's last argument was severely lacking, yeah. Ouch. I believe you'll do everything you can to guarantee the mission's success. Right, Kat? Of course. Now I would like to go over the minutia for the mission with Claire, Sarah, and Ryan. Can you let us handle this without listening in this time? Oh, well, seeing as I'm now... Kathy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Of course. You all snug in there, Ayla? You need anything? Cup of coffee? Magazine? You diva. You look nervous. And that amuses you? No, no. But seeing you, you're... proud. <clears throat> hey. That scar on Sarah's stomach, is, is that the one Dad gave her? Yeah, why? 
just curious. Knock, knock. You ready? Let's go. Yeah? Here we go, opera team. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Babe, did you prepare philosophical quotes for the entire journey, or...? I only like five a day. Oh, good. Wanna see something cool? Maybe I these Naples. You didn't like it? I mean, it's great, truly. One small step was already taken, so... Oh, wow, old school, yeah. huh? excited. You never look excited. Don't be cheeky. I was as frugal as possible when designing this ship. However, I did splurge on one last minute addition. A window. You're really ruining the moment. Sorry. Just look. This is what we're doing it for. Right, Kat? You have to be me. Sarah and Ryan are probably settling into their pod. I'll head back to the cockpit. Be right there. Checks to commence mission. <laughs> oh, uh, my foot. So, this is like the climbing wall at home. Except this time you get to use these cool looking claw things at left foot. If you make it to the top of the cork wall, you are one step closer to the moon. Dad? Yeah. Are there a lot of walls to climb on the moon? Um, no. But. But to get to the moon, you need a badge. Just like your scouting badges, basically. Why do I need a climbing badge? Well, well, it's a badge that, on our journey to the moon, were we to make an emergency landing, we needed to climb our way up, you could, and then you'd find your way home. Can something go wrong with the rocket? No, 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 they're, they're perfectly well built. Isn't that right, Claire? Completely safe, Kathy. I promise. All right, so, final tally. Go or no go? Go. Yep. Why doesn't Claire want to go with us? Don't worry. Change your mind. And we'll be together? Yep. Let's get you home. You need a big rest before your exam tomorrow.
Have you been watching me sleep? Yes. That's kind of creepy, sis. I just, I just brought that for comfort. Uh, what do you expect to find on Mars, Kat? Nothing. I understand what you're thinking, I think. But sometimes what we want isn't... It's always difficult to do the right thing, and I really believe Isaac always meant well. Isaac? You mean Dad? Dad always meant well. I just need you to understand he was not always good at doing the right thing. Right. Well, at least he always tries to do the right thing. Right. Well, that's all that matters, right? He's always looked out for us. He couldn't help what happened. Yeah, you're right. It's not weird for me to want to find him, is it? I need to know that when we get there, you'll make the right decisions. Claire? Kathy? Come meet us in the cockpit. Kat, I said I'd do what's best for the mission. So far I'm doing just that, right? Close the shutters for dramatic effect, because what's in front of us will amaze, shock, and possibly delight you. What? I know Outward's the bad guy, but you can't deny how impressive it is what they built. Okay. You just shouldn't glorify them, that's all. Okay. Well, that might have put a bit of a damper on this, but... Opera team, I give you... Arc Labos. Would you look at that? Have any of you ever seen solar panels like these? Looks like they combine standard PV panels with a sort of CSP layering over it. Excuse you? It appears these panels first concentrate the solar rays to optimization before they hit the photovoltaic semiconductors. The increase to efficiency is exponential. How could they be so far ahead of us? And why does it look abandoned? Let's find out. Sarah, Ryan, suit up and prepare to board. Kathy, start the pre-docking preparations. I'm doing the docking procedure. Yes, you're staying aboard the Zephyr with me. Now please start the procedure. Sorry, Miss Lavoria, but Director McArthur was clear. Our warriors, welcome to a new dawn. We stand on the edge of greatness. We are the culmination of thousands of years of technological progress. Earth is a lost cause. There's no coming back from the damage we inflicted upon her. But now, we have a chance to correct humanity's course. A future without conflict, without division, uncorrupted by weakness or doubt. 
We have the tools, the minds, and the bodies to create a sustainable utopia. A place for you, your future children and grandchildren. With my five-year plan, we will build a solid foundation for our world together. What about Ark Vida? Don't we need all three Arcs for this to work? The loss of Ark Vita is one we can overcome if we remain strong and work hard to compensate. But for this to succeed, we must be unified. If we do not work together, we will fail. If we challenge and fight one another, we will fail. In this monumental endeavor, we are only as strong as our weakest link. So, people of Outwood, we stand on the precipice. Join me, and together we will build something better. Gather your belongings and prepare to transfer to Ark Habitas for our descent to Mars. We leave in two hours. Was that stunt truly necessary? What were you hoping to achieve by diverting the ship? Rosa, I don't want to force you to cooperate, but... Tell that to the fine men you've got escorting me. I'm... sorry it came to this. But we need you. Outward needs you. Your medical expertise is crucial to the colony. Everyone's lives depend on it. I will do my best. Thank you. I'm not doing it for you, William. Entry guidance design has been re-optimized. Preparing for EDL. T minus two minutes to cruise stage separation. Everybody copy? Copy. 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 I'm sorry for being so protective. I know I'm not mom. What, what I mean is, I see how much you've grown. I know I can trust you. Thanks. Commander. Moment of truth, Opera Team. If the orbit burn doesn't function, we all know what to do. Start and burn. We are losing three axis stabilization. Nominal velocity changes, propulsive efficiency completely tanked. Unable to correct. What about tertiary thrusters? Gone. Momentum desaturation has failed. Mass expulsion won't help. We are in loss of control. Understood. Opera team, abandon ship. Brian, Sarah, to cargo in the pods. Kathy and I will try one last maneuver. Kat, do you copy? Kat! Copy! You can do this. Oh, my God. 
What am I supposed to be looking at, Ayla? Let me go, please. Sorry, I made a mistake. Please, Mr. Johansson, please calm down. I don't need to go back to work. Come, come in here, it was a mistake. Please, please, I, I just want to... Isaac, you're confused from the cryo. Try to calm down. I don't need to calm down! I need to go back for my daughter! I know you're smarter than this. I know that deep down you understand that what you are saying is foolish. Please, William. Please, let me go back to Earth. How do you imagine that would go, Isaac? How do you think you would be welcomed? With fanfare or police escort? Going back won't bring you any closer to ever seeing your daughter again. I know you know this. You and I... If we ever return to Earth, we'll be tried like war criminals. They will treat us like traitors to the human race, not as its saviors. The only way you'd get to see Kathy is from behind bars. Look, the quarry has been producing at a velocity of around 20 million metric tons in the last three years. We built this, Isaac, thanks to your designs, your estimates, your insight. And now you're here, with Art Vita, no less. Just imagine how much artwork will grow. It will become everything we dreamed of. I'm sorry for making that very cruel decision back then. And if we can ever bring a select few from Earth, we will make sure your daughter is part of that group. But before that, we need to focus on the here and now. We need you here, Isaac. Can I count on you, old friend? Rest first. We'll get your quarters and habitats cleared out so you can clear your head, okay? I still can't believe it, Isaac. In my wildest dreams, I didn't dare to see numbers like this. You keep living up to your name with every project you get your hands on. Our dream is coming to life, my friend. There you are. Rosa, join us. We're just celebrating. Isaac's ore crusher is performing well above expectations. Admissions are up again, William. 62% this last month. We need to expand the medical wing, and we need more staff to take care of them. We talked about this. It's only a temporary increase. I don't think it is. People are being worked too hard and burning out too fast. More and more are showing symptoms of anxiety and PTSD. And with our outlook for the future milestones, those numbers are only going to go up. Isaac's housing development has just started. We can't spare anyone else. Let me rehabilitate them, William. Give me more space and more staff so I can... We can't afford to take people off the ground crews to rest and even more to support them. 
that will only prolong our struggles. These are your people, William. They follow you, look up to you. The answer is no. I'll see both of you at the Wigley debrief tonight. Rosa, meet me in the medical wing. I might be able to help you out. Please work. Oh, come on. Waiting out the storm to head to the ark. I hope to see you there. Ayla, are you okay out there? seen anything like this. I can't say that I have. It's incredible. It is. What? What is that? Well, whatever it is, it's important enough that they simply refer to it as the engine. 
Well, it's like situated in the middle of the bridge, too. It looks active. You think there's people up there? Only one way to find out. Hmm. Elevators out. Ryan, are there any stream points on that map we can use to hook it up to the emergency power? Uh, yes. That's good news. Well, I've got some bad news, too. The only point seems to be on the top floor. There's a staircase going all the way over there. But Sarah, are you able to... I guess that's a yes. set this medical wing on the way up. We're gonna find you some painkillers, and then we're gonna get that elevator back up and running. All right? Cat, how's this floor looking? Abandoned. I don't think we should separate. It's not a good idea. We don't have a choice. All right. I'll be back as fast as I can. Okay, hey, Mzadi? Okay. That's not a reassuring sign. No. You'll all be escorted back to your chambers. Report to your superiors for the graveyard shift. I'd heard you've got an Isaac to help you out on this little project. A project I made very clear wasn't going to happen. People need help, William. People need to work. If they spend nights here and off the work rosters, it only halts the progress even more. Besides, we need to keep this wing open for pregnancies. Ah, yes. All the pregnant women in the colony. Best leave some beds open to them rather than real people who need real rehabilitation. But I didn't walk in on rehabilitation, did I? What did I walk in on, Rosa? Opposition? This place is collapsing, William. The dust storms are wearing down our walls and roofs. The mutations in Odom speak for themselves. We are cooped up inside on a planet we shouldn't be on. There is no way this will work. We have to return to Earth. These hardships are the cost of evolution and progress. We will push through. After everything that's happened over the past few years, do you seriously think that we're better off here than we were on Earth? Security will be down to put everything back the way it should be in an hour. Thanks for the backup. I'm sorry. I don't understand you, Isaac. You hear the same voices in the hallways. We've put years into this place and it's not working. Not enough space, not enough food, not enough progress. Why are you staying quiet? It's just not that simple. People left their families to come here. You left your family to come here. Isn't it time you saw them again? <sighs> Isaac, wait. I'm sorry. That... That's no ordinary ASC button, is it, Ayla? Hmm. How are we supposed to up... A 
That's pretty handy, Ayla. Got any other tricks up your sleeve? I uh, I think I see some medication here. Maybe it has some of that Praga Benton stuff. Huh. Good job. Perfect. This will work. Huh. And these are antidepressants. And a lot of them. Strange. Wasn't living on Mars the dream for these folks? I think that might be everything we can find here. I'm gonna bring these up to Sarah, and then we can figure out a way up. I might have an idea. Do you wanna climb that? Well, it might be the only way if everything else is blocked. You can't go up alone. It's fine, I've climbed worse. Look, I'm the only one that can work the stream point, and you need to go and help Sarah. It's too dangerous. I'll be fine. Just be careful. I will. I'm gonna get some water. You all right? the same type of cryo beds that I was in on the moon. Oh. I really tried to fix the MPT with the last bit of helium-3 there was left. Same bit of helium-3 that your dad needed to jumpstart the Ark and bring you here. It caused a five-year blackout. One man. One choice. It affected everyone. He never intended to cause a blackout. Having good intentions isn't hard, Kathy. Plenty of well-intentioned people have single-handedly caused so much destruction. The hard part is knowing the difference between what's right and what's wrong. Claire always knew. Just hope you do too. this place could really do with? More barricades.
This almost feels... Alien? It looks like one hell of a science fiction machine, all right. I think we can safely assume who created this. All right, let's split up. Are you guys reading what I'm reading? This machine completely converts atmospheric input into the chemical compound of Earth. Conversion efficiency is close to lossless. <sighs> this might be our mother load. I mean, this technology could restore Earth's atmosphere. We could heal our planet. Well, Earth could definitely use a couple of these oversized bad boys. <sighs> oxygen signature. Could that mean... People. Well, then we should go and check it out right away. We need to finish our assessment because... But we're losing precious time. For what? To find out what happened. Shouldn't one of us scout ahead? If there are colonists still alive, we have no idea how they'll react to our presence. We need to be prepared. Agreed. Things haven't exactly looked peachy so far. If I could just take the rover, get to the facility, we can use that Kathy. information. We're going over there tomorrow as a team, prepared. It's an order. Sarah's right, Cat. We need to get some rest after. after everything. There's a room in the medical wing with some beds. I'll take first watch, you two get some sleep. <laughs> Great performance, but I still want that hummus on flatbread. You should have seen that woman who sold it, Isaac. Absolutely the most gorgeous woman in Chile. Really? This <laughs> convention announced, um, you know, before the whole thing. And, um, what was it called? Oh, yeah, it was, it was a beat and bows or something like that. 
I bet. <laughs> you know it's crazy what we're doing here, right? What do you mean? You know what I mean. People are starving because of these mutations. Instead, we make antidepressants so people don't think about it. I know. We can't even feed the people, Isaac. Yeah, it's um, science. It's not even a thing, really, sometimes. This planet is alien to us all the time. MacArthur knows that you're organizing those meetings for him, but you should be more careful. Someone needs to listen to the people. Give them a voice. Well, uh, <clears throat> what about the people who, who, who do want to be in this place? Like you? Don't you want to go back to Earth? Back to your daughters? Of course I want to see this. It's just, it's just no hope. I mean, we're not even welcome back on Earth, you know? <laughs> Saving that planet is a lost cause. You know that. Earth is not a lost cause. We can use the Arcs to save it. It's not the planet that I was referring to. You know, never mind. You think, um... think Kathy's up? What? O of course she is. She's with Claire, right? Just, um, I don't even know what she looks like. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't know what she's... Well, she's into. She was so, she was so young hey, when I left. Calm down. Everything's all right. She's probably. I really wanted her to be on that. I really did. I just, she couldn't, and then I left her. You know. I just left her. That. I, mean, I left. Her. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad. I'm a bad father. You're not. No, a bad I'm a bad father. father. I'm a terrible person. I just left. I left. You're not a bad father, Isaac. You're not. Why would you do that? It's okay. <laughs> Just... Who would leave their daughter? all of us. We might not recover from this. I thought many things of you, Rosa, but... I did not do this. Whether you planted the bomb is irrelevant. Your words lit the fuse. People will die because of Homeward. Are you serious? People are already dying because of Outward. Do you understand what this attack does to our production pipeline? We'll have to shut down several greenhouses. Food production will drop even more than it already has. I abhor what happened here. It hurts us all. But I don't blame them either. They've screamed and shouted, but you've not listened. I know you control Homewood more than you're willing to admit. Call them off, and we might have a chance to make it out of this as a whole. No. No? You imprisoned us and forced us to leave our families, our homes. If this is what's necessary to shake everyone awake, so be it. If you'll excuse me, I'm needed in medical.
I just spoke to Remco. He says the yield is unsalvageable. How did we not catch this new mutation? How... How long until the ration plan is back on track? I think... We need to completely reevaluate our projections. With the heating coils out and no alloy from Herschel, we're already purifying water 35% slower than before and... I just... Rosa is fighting her own feelings of guilt and shame. That's why she started Homeward. She thinks it'll redeem all the tough choices she had to make on the moon. Mighty brave Rosa operates out of fear and ego, just like the rest of us. Do you remember the Antarctic catastrophe? I was there. I'm the only survivor left. Our second attempt at a self-sustained biosphere, and we destroyed it in less than three years. Because of pointless arguments, petty squabbling, intelligent sane people devolved into stupid, irrational cavemen. Tell me this, Isaac. Why does emotion always triumph over pragmatism? Why were our last years on Earth accompanied by endless wars over resources? Why can't humanity ever work in unison? Because we are, and always will be, too selfish to do what needs to be done. Soon, Earth will be just as uninhabitable as Mars. Because of us. Not the rabbits or the bees, nor the cancer cells that spread through my wife like wildfire. We did that. I will not let it happen here. We will persevere, and we will succeed. Outward was working. Outward is working. The chaos she breeds will end it all. You understand that, don't you? Yes. Then explain to me, Isaac, why you helped her with her psych ward and why you spend time socializing with her. It is time you choose, Isaac, which side you are actually on. It's not about science. Rosa and I are good friends, the... You don't get to sit on the fence about this. Outward or Earth, Isaac? I'm here for Outward, William. You know that. I don't give a damn about Earth. Not giving a damn about Earth? Ezekiel hemorrhages. Cyanosis. They suffocated. Everyone? Yeah. Both homeward and outward. We have to leave. It's too dangerous. Too dangerous? Sarah, there's no one left. We don't know that. I mean, look what they did to each other. Sarah, please calm down. No. I mean, if there are any survivors, we, we have nothing to our defend ourselves, we, we have to go back. Ayla detects holograms? Yeah? Doesn't Alex do that too? No. And I've been trying to break the Lunar Council encryption key for years. How many of these have you found? Only a couple. Play it. What? Play it. You are all delusional if you think Mars will ever be safe for us. You destroyed Odom. 
It's unsafe here because of you! We need to go home to Earth. We can't stay here. Earth is a lost cause. Why don't you see that? I will not die without seeing my family again. People, people, please. Enough! Fighting like cornered animals. We are all better than that. Things here haven't been easy. But it's hardship we have to endure to make outward work. It's hardship we had foreseen. For those of you who wish to return with the Arks, what do you think Earth will do with them? Who's at the front of the queue to be helped? You? Each and every one of you would be put on trial the moment your feet touch the ground. And what of the nations that don't get a say? That don't get control? What do you think they will do? They will fight, they will kill, and they will destroy. Like mindless, irrational beasts, they will destroy the Arks and each other. For over 30 years, we've known that Earth has passed the point of no return. In 30 more years, its surface will be near and distinct from that of Mars. Pushing the frontier of humanity always comes with a cost. But it's a price we have to pay for a better tomorrow. We can still move forward in unison and make this work. If only we- Enough, William! We are done with your speeches. We are done being ignored. Your lofty talk of unity spits in the face of all those you've got locked up in medical. Desperate people who resorted to desperate measures. Your inaction and ignorance forced their hands. We miss our families and friends back on Earth. If our tech and our minds can help save it, we have to try. You forced us to board the Arks. You forced us to live and work in this nightmare. And now, you're forcing our hand. We will be heard, William. You will listen to us. Now, Julia. How... Rosa, what have you done? After him! Rosa for all Homewardians! Grab MacArthur and get to the bridge! My god. It was Homeward. They used the ASCs to fight their way to the bridge. I can't believe MacArthur pushed this to an all-out civil war. MacArthur? Yes, MacArthur. The ASCs, the attack on Odom. Rosa's just as culpable, don't you think? Rosa? You must be joking. These people have no choice. They didn't choose to be violent. MacArthur forced their hand. That doesn't mean the ends justify the means. Rosa is just as guilty of this escalating as he is. Without her, none of this would have happened. Using the oppressor's weapons against him is completely justified. Isn't that as much of a dictator as he was? She's imposing her will just like MacArthur did. We saw the horror of everyone wanting to leave. This isn't some hypothetical moral dilemma from one of your dad's college lectures. This is clear. Well, then make him authorize it. Rosa, please stop this. This has all gone too far. This is just the beginning. Hacking the ASCs, storming medical to release the prisoners. Are you not, you're not hearing the madness of it all. MacArthur cut us off from Ark Labos, not me, Isaac. Why are you even here? To parley on behalf of our glorious leader? I came as a friend, please. Please listen to reason. I'm done listening, and I'm done talking. What about people who support Atwood and want to thrive? The people you have security ASCs pointing their weapons at right now. We are leaving today, and we're taking the Arcs with us. If you want to help, go to the Panopticon and tell MacArthur to turn Labos back on. Otherwise, stay out of it. Isaac, are you in the Panopticon with MacArthur? Isaac, please respond. Life. I'm sorry it all came to this. Tell MacArthur to 
turn on Habitus. Isaac. with Rose after all these years. Why didn't you tell us where you were going? I... I just saw Ace and went after him. Found another hologram. MacArthur shut down Lavos to stop Rosa and Homewood from activating the launch sequence. Then... I think he shut off the oxygen from the entire colony. You've seen Isaac in these holograms, haven't you? We're leaving. What? What? We'll restart the MPT connection to Lavos from the bridge. We're gonna prep Habitas for launch and be gone before nightfall. What about Arc Vita? Rosa is dead. Kathy, everyone is dead, and anyone that's left is probably armed and wouldn't hesitate to kill us. But we haven't completed the mission. We are a man down, and mission critical gear that could have helped us is missing. Arc Vita may be important, but we don't know where it is, and we don't know if it's functional, and I will not risk the success of this mission on finding it. So we are leaving now. That is an order. So, what do we do with this little guy? Ace, turn around. ASC unit 63754-N. Ownership transfer, lunar council override. 170544 Isaac Johansson Say your name Say my Ryan Delyanin Well this is new Done. Right. Ryan, conduct final checks, and then we're gone. On it. Sarah. What the? What did you do? I... I... 
I, 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 I don't... did that on purpose. What? Sarah, stop. That was our last way off the planet. Sarah, stop. There is stop. no way off. That was our stop. last way to go. Sarah, we stop are it. Not going stop it. Stop it. Stop holding yourself. Don't you understand? Sarah. like that. I could have made it happen even if I wanted to. Not that I wanted to. I yeah, just... I know. Is she okay? Yeah. Yeah, she'll be fine. She just needs a... a second. Or two. Or a few hours. So... What now? How likely is it that the MPT dish can still be hooked up, do you think? Not very likely. So, there's a small chance. Well, we'd have to hope that the dish didn't take the brunt of the impact. And even if it didn't, it'd need to be in line of sight with Habitas, and I'd have to check all the transformers and converters and hope that I, they're all I think all it's the intact. last bit of hope we have. I, um... I can't leave Sarah, like this. But I can take your lead on this from here. Okay. Cat? We're counting on you. protocol to the MPT software. Sir? If any attempts to restart the MPT connection to Harbiters are made without my authorization, set the ship's thrusters to overclock. But they'll burn through. Labos will be adrift. It, it could even cause a chain reaction to the fuselage and destroy the entire vessel. Do it! Set the authorization condition to Argus's decryption clearance only. Understood? Yes, sir. No, no, listen. My car has ripped the thrusters. If you try and restart the MPT, we're either going to be left adrift, or it could blow the whole arc. He's the only one who can authorize the reconnection. We're dealing with him as we speak. Move aside. You can't! Arlo, break through the door. Are you crazy? You're going to... Heart breach detected. Lockdown imminent. Okay. I have to. I'm out the. I'm out the column. Is Lavos alright? Uh, Macarthur. Isaac, I'm with your hole in the ship. We're gonna. 
There's no way out, MacArthur. Open this door! William, enough is enough. Reconnect Lavos and let's settle this. Me, you, and Rosa. You, you, you're both destroying everything we built here. William. William, are you listening to me? Suit up, Isaac. What do you do? Just put your suit on. Outward, this is MacArthur. If the mutineers don't stand down immediately, I will shut down Ark Habitas. William, you can't. You'll kill everyone. Not everyone. Switch to your suit's oxygen pack. Th there are people out there who still believe in Outward. Innocent people. Are you willing to sacrifice them too? Only I have the strength to do what needs to be done. To save this. So, yes, Isaac, I am. Is Lavos all right? Uh, Macarthur. I got you! I'm a dog! I'm a dog! I'm a dog! I'm a dog! Hello? I'm Lavos. Is anyone still on the ship? Come in! Come in! I'm Lavos! This is Isaac Johansson. It's a... Uh... Please meet me at Ark Vita. All of us. Please. I can't believe it. Uh, um, Moonbag. I can't put into words how much I've missed you. If, if you're hearing this, you, you know where it's transmitting from. Two years ago, the Outward Colony lost connection to Ark Lavos, our main power source. I'm stationed at Ark Vita. The same ship you saw on the moon when you were little, remember? Encrypted in this radio transmission will be the exact location of Ark Vita. I'll play it now for Ada to decipher. 
just want to move back. I'm still alive. Come for me. Please. Outgoing transmission failed. Damn it. I told Claire over and over again that you weren't ready for this. That you wouldn't rise to the occasion. But to keep this from us? We're leaving. Now. You want to talk? Excuse me? I know you only brought me here so that I could pull on my dad's heartstrings so he'd come quietly. So you could lock him up forever. Yeah, exactly where he belongs. It was that, or... Or what? Plan B? What did you do with the weapons? I got rid of them. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You have so much potential to help so many people, and you're gonna throw it away for your own goddamn selfish reasons. Sarah, this isn't the way to do this. Claire would be so disappointed that you turned out exactly like your father. So strong, yet so weak. You're the one that brought guns. What is it? Hmm? Revenge? Your pain brought you here, Sarah, so who's the weak one? You have no idea what I have been through. I am trying to do what's right. I am trying to save everyone! By leaving without Ark Vita! Doesn't Earth need it? Or are you just too afraid to face my father without a gun in your hand? I'm going to Ark Vita. I'm going to find my father. Not in a million years. Ayla, now. Go! Sarah? Keith! Kathy! <laughs> Get up. Get up. Stop this time you can. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. God, if we just move. God, why don't we just move? Come on. Get up. We have to play it. We have to just move.
Isaac here. Isaac Johansson. So big. So, was this something special you promised me? Oh, uh, <laughs> I think I might have oversold it. I know you're too old for a toy bear. I made it myself. With wood grown right here. Over there, in fact. I guess I just needed it to remind me of you. It is extremely delicate, so please be careful. Not like the uh, dozens you destroyed before. <laughs> What's wrong? Don't you like it? I found all these holograms about what happened here. And... what you did. Think about it every day. I lost hope of ever seeing you again. And I, I, I tried to stay out of it. I made so many mistakes in my life. But uh, that day that I had to stop them both before they destroyed it all. Why didn't you choose for Rosa and Homewood? Why didn't you try to come home to us? It's complicated. You're here. You're here now. I'm, I, I'm never going to let you out of my sight. I'm going to keep you safe. You are here. Safe. I promise. Dad, I... We came here to save you, right? Save me? To bring you back to Earth. You, you want to... You want to bring me back? But... I didn't send the message for you to save me. I sent the message for you to, to be here with me. What... What are you, what are you doing here? You want to take me back, to, but they'll... What was the plan? What was the plan? I... I don't know. But... 
Dad, we we need to bring the Ox back home to save us. The colony is stable. We made it. We made it work for for all of us. I made it work for you. Listen to me, Mimba. Humanity destroyed the Earth. They'll destroy the Ox too. They'll go to the highest bidder or, or the, the strongest nation. They, they don't. Look what we've achieved. Moon base. Outward. Was there ever a plan to save Earth? No time. We need to hide. They're coming back. Where can we go? Quick! Sarah, I know what I did. I, I know what it was. It's all right. I, I heard everything. I have one too. Remember. We have to get back to Habitas. This place is swarming. Guys, I've got a bit of a situation over here. Yeah? Yeah, those colonists really don't like you stealing their rover. Trying to get in. Okay. I broke the elevator stream point and threw up some barricades. Big brain move. Be careful. You need to get back here, or they're gonna stop us from leaving altogether. Yep. We need to steal another rover, sneak past a ton of colonists. We need to press on to Arc Vita. Ryan, redirect Habitas's power to Vita and prep for launch. We are gonna head that way right now. You okay? Ha! Oh. Yep. <clears throat> I'll live. Let's go. Follow me. Me up and threw away the key. 
We'll be apart again. Cap, Sarah, the colonists are inside the bridge. Please, move. You're the only thing that's missing. Stay. <laughs> I'm through. I got the launch sequence started. Start your engines. I'll try. Kathy, let's go. Kat! I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. It's too new. Go on. It took years for us to find the right biopolymer. Eventually, someone found it. Now we can create nature. We're going to have to print a lot more than this if you want to save me. But um, I almost lost you and your mother one day. Really? Yeah. When this was giving birth, witnessing worst storms we've ever seen. Uh, uh, rolling blackouts were a common occurrence. But this time, the flood took out the hospital's generators. It wasn't exactly optimal, to say the least. 
You were born with an umbilical cord, your umbilical cord wrapped around your neck. And your mum lost consciousness due to shock. I was, just, I was just standing there in the corner, watching all the nurses and doctors running around trying to save you both. I felt so useless. So utterly bound. No matter how hard we try, we, we just can't seem to unite. Fight each other if we have a common enemy or a common goal. We disagree on how to overcome it. We become hateful in our rhetoric and destructive in our actions. We'll steal another man's bread if we're hungry and we'll destroy the home if we want it for ourselves. We keep, keep doing this to each other, to ourselves. As if somehow personal gain always triumphs unity. What are we trying to save if we ourselves just end up destroying it? <laughs> I really believed what I was doing was right. But then, who says you're right? Who gets to decide that? It's good to hear your voice. What happened to the unison colonists? That, uh... It's all worked out, and, uh taken care of. Good. I love you, I'm sorry. I love you too. <laughs> and even if there is a way of knowing that you're you're fighting for the true greater good, and why do you have to fight for it in the first place? God, how do you stay, you stay strong? Do all that. How do you stay good? Believe this is what we should do. Mission Control, this is Sarah Baker, Commander of Mission Opera. The mission was a success. We're returning to Earth. 
ETA is six months, 13 days, and four hours. Mission Control, please respond. This is our third attempt to reach you. Are you there?